do you think there's any chance that the Kurds will give up Kirkuk now, or is this going to be Kurdish territory now forever? بله من وکو رأی خوام وکو رأی حکمتی هریم اما پیمان باشه وکو هیزی پیش مرگو وکو حکمتی هریم دفاع ل خاچی کرکوک بکین و پاریسگاری شیلیا دکین تا دو اطلاعی خوان من. کیرکوک has long been described as a flashpoint due to disputed claims of who should be in charge of the territory. Just a few years ago, the Iraqi army and Kurdish Peshmerga were involved in a standoff that almost led to war. Now, while the Kurds control the city, ISIS and other Sunni groups are just south, carrying out sporadic attacks. For now, the Kurds finally have control of the land they've always wanted. What is, what's the historical significance of Kirkuk and why does it mean so much to the Kurds to have it under their control? Kirkuk has been the symbol of our oppression has been the symbol of our deprivation and has been the symbol of denial of the rights of the Kurdish people. So there have been attempts in order to change realities on the ground, to have demographic change, and our rights were usurped. Therefore, Kirkuk is important not because of the oil that it has. All of Kurdistan, we have oil and gas. So it's, it's not about oil and gas. It's about the people, it's about land, it's about justice. Two years ago, I was in Kirkuk, and the talk was of the standoff with the Iraqi army and the Tigris force, and with the delayment of Article 140, which would have given a vote to the people in Kirkuk to see if they wanted to belong to the KRG. Neither one of those things seems like it exists anymore. Well, yes, the reality on the ground has changed. Today's Iraq is different from last week's Iraq. We were waiting for a solution. Indeed, we have been betrayed in that, because that was a constitutional commitment. A commitment that started with TAL, Transitional Administrative Law, and it needed to be implemented. We did not want to impose a solution on the people. We wanted to give the right to the people, for the people to make the final say in the situation. But unfortunately, everybody was avoiding that, because they were sure of the results. In, in 2003, when the Kurds first took Kirkuk, the Americans sort of made them withdraw, asked them to withdraw. Is there any way that the Peshmerga will withdraw now, since they've taken over again? The Peshmergas are there to stay, to defend, and also to protect the people and the land. So there's no way the Kurds are going to give up Kirkuk one more time? Why? What for? Because if the forces which were there have thought and felt that they were loyal to the land, they would not have betrayed it. And you, by that you mean the Iraqi army? Of course. Of course, an army that the Americans have helped rebuild, they have spent billions of dollars on that army, very well paid, very well equipped, but they did not have the morale. And I want to make sure that it's not the weapons that make the men, it's the men who make weapons effective. But when you have a group like ISIS, even though it's not in their best interest to attack the Peshmerga, can you really trust that there won't be fighting again in these areas? The political landscape in Iraq has changed. The balance of power has changed. And now we are a neighbor to a, another emerging state in Iraq, the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant. Today, Iraq is not our neighbor. ISIS is our neighbor. So we're in Kirkuk right now, which even before this recent conflict has been a flashpoint. It's got a mixed population of Turkomans, Arabs, and Kurds, and everyone sort of laid claim to this land. You can see behind me is the 12th Division Army base of the Iraqi army, and they just abandoned it completely. So now the Kurds have it under control. They have the entire city under control, and most people don't think that they're ever going to give it back. It's an issue of dignity here. <laughs> لیرا نش جش عراقی با عم کوت نترسی و لرزی خوان و هاتن هیز کانی خوان همو خر کرد و تیفش کان لقل هاولاتی کان لقل هاولاتی و هاولاتی عربو دعاش هاتن ایرانیان گرد ایران کنترل کرد ایران کنترل کرد هر تی موادی جش عراقی همو سوتان دیان است ایما نوشته که من کنترل کرد و با همان شی و دست من گرتو بسر همو وضع کانا قواتي شي زور من هيا لا ناو كركوكو حتى بقرا حتى كو نحيمه لا عبد الله كنترول مان كدوا بهيت شي ويكناهلين هيزي داعش بيت ايرانا 
هزی دعاش بته ایران ایسا هزی دعاش هزی چی لیوانانن پیک هاتو لسی باش تیرورسی تون رو هزی دعاش انصار الاسلام لقل جماعتی نقش بندی پیک هاتون لو گروه پانا دوشکیان پیا هماریان پیا هیجش عراقی یا گرتویان یا کوتو دستیان شری برانبر هزی پیش مرگ پیدا کن هزی پیش مرگش وضع کانی کنترل کدو برانبریان روبرویان وسایی نتوا ناهلين بهيت شيء ويك بيانا بيش بس تيك بيانا بيش. When the Iraqi army left, did they tell you come take our base? Did they let you know about everything, or did they just leave and you were stuck here to fight? بال نخير بهيت شيء وبيما أنا نود بالام خمان إما ويست من شاري كركوكو دور بري شاري كركوك كنترولنا كان هذي داعش نكير تبن دستي هذي داعش خمان هاتين بهاوكاري هذي بيش مرجا هاوكاري هذي جيش عراقي من كن. After what happened in the 60s and starting with the Arabization and after what happened with the Americans in 2003, do you think there's any chance that the Kurds will give up Kirkuk now or is this going to be Kurdish territory now forever? Bale, bale, man waku ra'i khom waku ra'i hukmati harem, ema pe man basha waku hezi pej margaw waku hukmati harem, difa' la khachi Kirkuk bekain wa Paris gari shilia da kain ta dua tulopi khwen man. Na helin bekay da dasi hiz hezi chi ka ema لقل إما دجي إما بيت إما باريس قاري لا خاشي كركوك دكين لبرا وين ناوس دابرين دراوا كان هيش تان دمانو يبقرتو صار هريمي كردستان حتى بوش من كري حتى زبال حمرين هاو كاري جيش عراقيش دكين وبردوام جدبين While the Kurds might be celebrating minorities in the city might not be willing to accept Kurdish rule just as easily We had just left the last defensive checkpoint here in Kirkuk in this part as soon as we left, we had an explosion. We looked back, there was an IED that exploded, which you can see in the background over here. So unlike Mosul, Kirkuk is still really, really tense. Um, there are reports of IEDs coming in from all over. Uh, it's not finished here at all. 